What's going on guys? Welcome to your third tutorial in the Facebook Developers for Android uh, series. Now we've set up everything that we need to in Eclipse, but we also need to set up some stuff on the Facebook Developer page because Facebook wants to have permission over our application just in case if we create an app that just completely ruins Facebook, they want, want to be able to shut down that app, you know, shut down that connectivity. Um, so we have to get permission from Facebook by declaring our app on the developer site. So again, just go over to developers.facebook.com, go up to the apps, and I kind of blocked out some of my information here. Um, but what we're going to need to do is hit create new app, and we're going to give this our app name. So let's just call this, uh, what was it? Um, oh, and, and one thing that you guys want to consider is you can't have face in your name at all. Like it won't allow you to create an application with the word face in it anywhere so if your application is like facebreaker that is an app I was working on and I was like what why can't I can't why can't I do that um, it's because Facebook won't allow you to use the word face so that's kind of strange so we're gonna call this like app uh, testing something like that or whatever you guys want to have your name um, be and that's pretty cool and we got to verify stuff hopefully that's right I don't know sometimes I can't read those but it doesn't really matter I guess it's doing its job um, then we get a page somewhat like this we have our application name that we just set up also probably required a, uh, an email of some sort and uh, if you want you can put your site name um, some other stuff but what we need to do is go down to the native Android app click that and obviously it's not saving perfectly because we have to include some extra information in here and that's what this tutorial is all about is getting the information that we need to put into uh, the Facebook so what we're gonna do is we're either gonna open up terminal or you're gonna open up your command prompt so if you're on Windows just type in CMD hit enter on Mac you want to go down to your applications folder and there should be another um, or let me scroll down yeah your utilities folder we're gonna open that up and here's your terminal so you can do that or you can search for it um, with you know the handy search method uh, as well but uh, this is your terminal we need to get some information from our toolkit so now we want to access where our key tool is in our system and by default on Windows I'm gonna go first it will be in your location C uh, backslash users uh, another backslash whatever your username is um, so whatever your username is uh, backslash dot Android and that's gonna be where your location and again this is whatever your username is or whatever you're logged into on your computer and for for Mac it's uh, it's it's gonna be under our users and then our specific username and then the Android folder as well so for Windows it's gonna be the same thing and the way that we navigate to that folder is by typing CD and then the location that we want uh, just to talk about some terminal stuff, ls will show you all the folders that you're currently in, um, but we want to actually go to our root because right now I'm just in my main folder. Uh, so we're going to type cd and then a backslash, hit enter, oh not backslash, what am I thinking, cd forward slash, and there we go, we're in a different um, browser now, we're in our, our like most root uh, level, and then we're going to go into the users folder here, so we're just going to type cd uh, users and then whatever your name is again your username so mine is Travis Cornelius um, forward slash dot Android and just hit enter and now we're in this location hopefully you have uh, you know this folder as well and if you stored yours in a different location um, and let's just type LS um, kinda what we're looking for is this debug dot key store now if you guys can't access this folder if it's not in the same directory as the default you probably want to go into your system and search debug.keystore make sure it's the Android stuff and then locate that through terminal again with the CD command and then whatever directories you're going into now that we're in this folder we're gonna access the key hash that we need to give to Facebook and I'm just gonna copy and paste some code I'm gonna put this in the description or the assets of of this lesson and you guys can uh, copy and paste as well because it's a lot easier um, so we're accessing the key tool and just running this by hitting enter it's gonna ask for your key store password which we have to type 
in lowercase Android. That's the password we want to use. So make sure you do that. Um, so type that in, hit enter, and you get a whole bunch of numbers. Uh, that's how it works. So we're going to copy this code that it gives you, go back over into the developer Facebook page, and paste that into our Android key hash here. Again, I'm blacking some of that out. Uh, again, we might want to access what our Android package name is. And again, mine was Travis.mybringback. What was it? Facebook app. And for our class name, we're just going to do our starting place. So let's type that out. We might change this later, but just to give it some additional information. And now what we're also going to do is enable Android SSO. Because if we were to save that, it would have given us an error. So we just have to enable that, hit save and we're we're good to go we got all of our updates and uh, we should be done from the Facebook side of things as well so let's jump over into Eclipse and the first thing that we're going to need to do is set up our permission because obviously our application needs to work with the internet so it can get to Facebook and interact with it so let's go into our Android manifest and under our manifest we're going to use or under our permission tab down here we're going to add the internet permission so use permission um, it's amazing how many times I forget to add permissions and it just really bugs me so uh, you know I spend a while debugging so I like to do all my permissions first uh, we're gonna just work with Android or I'm sorry the internet permission hit save and we are probably good to go for this tutorial we have everything set up from both Facebook side and from Eclipse's side to start developing our application. So thanks again for watching guys and we will catch you in the next tutorial. Uh, have a great day.